Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write decimals in expanded form using decimals. And you may be thinking, well, how else are we going to write decimals in expanded form other than using decimals? You can use fractions, so there's a couple of different ways to write out decimals in expanded form. I cover how to write these out in expanded form using fractions in another video. I drop that link down in the description. But for all of these examples, we're just going to use decimals. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, when I talk about expanded form, that just means that we're going to expand each number out to show the value of each digit. So let's jump into number one here, where we have 902 thousandths. And there's a place value chart at the top of your screen. So I'm going to place that number in there. It's going to help us break the number down and really see what the value of each digit is. So we go from left to right. The furthest um, digit to the left is the greatest valued digit. So that's always where you start with expanded form. And in this case, we have a zero. This shows that we do not have a whole number. Then we have um, a decimal and then the tenths place. So we have a nine in the tenths, a zero in the hundredths, and a two in the thousandths. Now when it comes to expanded form, we don't need to worry about the zeros. So we have two digits for number one that we need to show the value of. The nine here, again we're going from left to right, so that nine has a value of nine tenths. And we write that as a decimal like this. plus. Then we go to the two, which has a value of two thousandths. So that's going to look like this. A common mistake would be writing two thousandths, just putting the two after the decimal, or writing two hundredths. So these are incorrect. You need to be careful when it comes to decimals and placeholder zeros. So we have two placeholder zeros that pushed that two to the correct place, the thousandths place. So there we have 902 thousandths in expanded form. Now when it comes to expanded form using decimals, there are two different ways to do it. So I'm going to show you the second here, and I refer to this as the parentheses method. So we wanna start with the first digit that we're going to show the value of, and in this case it's going to be the nine in the tenths. So we start with our nine, and a parenthesis, and we multiply it by the place um, that that digit is sitting in. So it's sitting in the tenths, so we write one tenth in decimal form. So nine times a tenth is equivalent to that top expanded form, just nine tenths. So those mean the same thing, this and this. And as I write these out, I like to think of it as nine in the tenths place. Plus, now we need to do our two. So we write our digit and multiply it by the place um, it is in, and it's in the thousandths. So we can think of it as two in the thousandths place, and two times one thousandth is equivalent or equal to two thousandths. So both of those um, expanded forms are equivalent. They mean the same thing, they just look a little different. So on to number two, where we do have a whole number. So we need to start with the value of that four, which is 40. Plus, we can skip the zero in the ones place, so we move to the eight, which has a value of eight tenths. So we write out eight tenths. Let's do it the uh, parenthesis way here, where we start with a four, and it's in the tens place. So four times 10, which equals 40, plus, we have an eight in the, or multiply it by, um, in the tenths. So there you have number two. On to number three, where we have 60 and 29 hundredths. So we start with the six, which has a value of 60, plus, we have a zero in the one, so we can move to the tenths, and that two has a value of two tenths plus the nine in the hundredths, which has a value of nine hundredths. Parenthesis method, we have a six in the tens place, or six times 10, plus we have a two 
in the tenths place. Plus, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to come underneath here, and we end with a nine in the hundredths place. So nine times one hundredth, which equals nine hundredths. Lastly, number four, we have five and four hundred three thousandths. So we'll start with this five, which has a value of five because it's in the ones place, plus the value of the four is four tenths, plus our zero here, which we can skip, which uh, that zero is in the hundredths. So let's go to the thousandths where we have a three. So it has a value of three thousandths. And we can finish off with our parentheses method here. So we have a five times one or five in the ones place plus a four in the tenths place or four times one tenth. And we wrap it up with a three in the thousandths place or three thousandths. All right, so there you have it. There's how you write decimals in expanded form using decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.